Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Thank you all so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I have got my BoxyCharm base box and I have my Ipsy Glam Bag X. And so let's start off with the BoxyCharm. So this is the base box. It is, um, it used to be $25 a month and it has now gone up to $27.99 a month. You receive five full-size products. Now, as you all probably recall from my prior videos, I have not been happy with BoxyCharm lately. I have recently canceled my BoxyCharm premium subscription. I just wasn't happy with what was in there. And I thought I would give my base box a, a, another go round before I canceled that. Um, so, we're going to get into this. I did look inside and um, to see what was in here. So I know whether or not I wanted to cancel the, the base box. So since I'm cancel, since I've canceled the premium and if I cancel the base, that means no BoxyCharm base, no premium and no BoxyCharm Lux. But I'm okay with that because these boxes have not been great lately. So let's get into this one and we'll see what this looks like. Okay. So the card is right on top and it says BoxyCharm Be My Glamantine. And on the back, it lists all the products, gives a little description, shows their manufactured retail price, and they give the version here on the corner. Mine is uh, version 17. Okay, let's get right into it. So let me take the paper off. So the first thing I see is this. It looks like it's from Ace Beauté. It's the Glow Highlighter Palette. Now, I have a couple of highlighter palettes, and, you know, I really don't need this one. It is very pretty, though. Um, I'm not going to do any swatches in the BoxyCharm because I don't know if I'm going to keep this or pass it on. But you've got some really beautiful shades there. Um, and I think I can wear all but probably one. This is probably the only one in the corner I won't be able to wear. I mean, I might give it a try. We'll see. We'll see. So let's see what it says about the Ace Beauté Highlighter Palette. It says, the Ace Beauté Glow Essentials Highlighter Palette is all you need to get your glow on. Each shade is buildable and easily glides on the skin, giving you a seamless glowing look. And the, and the MSRP is $40, and this is a brand new launch that's in BoxyCharm from Ace Beauté. That's pretty cool that they're putting new launches in the BoxyCharm boxes. Okay, the next thing I see is this. This is from OPV Beauty London. This is a loose setting powder and translucent. Perfect for setting your foundation or wearing alone, whether you rely on setting powder to mattify, set, conceal, or diffuse. This formula acts as a finishing touch to bring your whole look together. And the MSRP is $22. Now, I did see some spoilers, um, and I saw a lot of people were getting this multi-brush here from Alley Oop. This is the Alley Oop Multitasker 4-in-1 Makeup Brush. Oh, plus there's a little coupon there for $10 off on the, uh, their website. Okay, what do we have here? So, this is what it looks like. So you have a nice fluffy brush here. This is sort of, um, it's a sponge, probably for um, setting your concealer. Now, let me get into this plastic. And then you unscrew this. And you have a little slanted uh, brush there for brows or liner. Very firm. And then if you screw off this side, you get what looks to be sort of a flat shader brush. So it's not really a quite as versatile as I would hope as I would hope it would be, but um, in any case. 
So it says here, an award-winning, okay, multitasker brush combined with the four most essential makeup applicators, including a sponge, blush, brow, and eyeshadow brush. This compact game changer is all you need for a full face on the go or at home. Each is made of premium synthetic fibers and the MSRP is $28. Now I'm not going to, to test it out because I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. I mean, I personally will probably not get a lot of use out of this. Next we have this. This is from Yensa Color and Face Tone Up Primer, Essential Glow, 8 Super Blacks es Essence. Okay, so what does this say? This primer is the perfect first step to achieving a superfood glow, infused with eight superpowered skin-loving ingredients to help minimize the appearance of pores, fine lines, and wrinkles. The lightweight satin sheen formula creates an invisible skin-perfecting finish, and the MSRP is $35. Now, again, I'm not going to swatch or test anything out because I don't know what I'm going to keep, but that's what the bottle looks like. It has a nice safety seal on there. I'm not going to open it. Again, I don't know if I'm going to keep this or not. All right. And then the last product in here is from Bally Bomb. This is the Pineapple Lip Scrub. Okay, that's what that looks like. Oh, it has a nice pineapple -y scent to it. So what does it say about this? This rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugarcane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin cells, plus an ultra smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. The super hydrating coconut oil and aromatic mix of cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essence oils will leave your lips soft and supple. And the MSRP is $23. That smells really good. I'll be honest with you, I don't like um, a lip scrub that's in the tub. I find it very hard to get my fingers in there. And, um, you know, I don't happen to have one of those lip tools that you can use for lip scrub. So I probably won't use that. I prefer something like, something like this. This is the milk makeup one. This one here. And I like how it just, you know, I like how it just turns up and then you just put it on and then you just rub it off. So I prefer this kind over the pot. But um, it's cool and it does smell very much like pineapple. All right, so that is the base box. As you can tell, I am less than enth enthusiastic about this. Um, I have tons of face powder. I really don't need another face powder. It seems I always get face powder in these boxes, um, you know. But um, so, yes, so I am going to cancel the base. I I'm just not very happy with it lately. So I'm done with BoxyCharm, unfortunately. Let's get into Ipsy. Now I have, um, I usually get Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, but then once a quarter, I do get the Ipsy Glam Bag X. And every month it's usually um, curated by a particular individual. It could be a celebrity, it could be a makeup artist, it could be a makeup, brand owner and so you open it up and the glam bag x is i believe it's 59 dollars a month uh, excuse me i believe it's 59 dollars every three months which is not terrible when you divide it into three and you open it up and you get this newspaper and this month's box was curated by addison ray who is a co-owner of item beauty and so um, she curated the box and inside it shows you like a lot of the products that you received plus those that you could have received and, and so forth. And it gives you a little description and it gives the, the retail price, which is very nice. Um, the regular Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and the Ipsy Glam Bag don't do that. So anyway, 
So now, um, I did get two items in here that are not makeup items, and those were my choices. So let me see if I can find my choices before we move on. Yeah, okay. So the first thing in here is this. And this is the Ipsy Faux Croc bag. And this is a crossbody purse. Okay, it's just very simple. It looks like this. Um, it has a pink heart zipper pull that says Ipsy on it. And inside we have some bubble wrap and then it does come with the crossbody strap and there are absolutely no pockets in here. So it's just one big pouch. Not my idea of a purse. I prefer to have at least a couple of pockets. Um, but I also don't like how shiny it is on the outside. It almost, it really kind of looks kind of, forgive me for saying this, but cheap. So, I mean, if you're looking for a, uh, just a small crossbody bag, just to run to the store, you know, this will do the trick. So it says, forget the flowers and chocolate. Treat yourself and your galantine to the chic folk chic faux croc bag on february 14th it's per perfect for housing all your favorite skin and makeup products okay that's okay and the next thing i got is this okay this is from key australia and let me see if i can find it where are the sunglasses here we go Nope, no, those are the ones. Okay, the key, the key high key mini black smoke sunglasses. Top off any look with these classic go with everything aviator frames. And Addison's tip is adjust the nose pads for the perfect custom fit on any face shape. So it's just a clear pouch. And it has a nice little cleaning cloth here. And the MSRP on these uh, sunglasses is $65. This is just a little card that says key. And now let's take a look at these sunglasses. My, fam my girls and I are heading out to Florida on Thursday. And we're going to Disney. And these come in handy. So let's see. Mm, there you go. Oh, I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, so that was that. Now, um, I'm not going to take that crossbody bag. I do have another black one or, or another crossbody bag that I plan on taking. Okay, now the rest is beauty products. Okay, so now we have this right here. This is from Tula Skin Care. This is the 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. Uh, sometimes it's nice to have a night cream, a, I mean a moisturizer that sort of is for day and night. Now, let me find Tula. Tula Skin Care, 24-7 Moisture Hydrating Day and Night Cream. Um, and it says here, your products should multitask as well as Addison does. It's the reason she loves this moisturizer. It can be used day and night to help deeply hydrate skin and smooth the look of fine lines and rough textures. Give yourself a soothing and lifting facial massage as you work in this moisturizer. And the MSRP is $52. Now, I happen to like Tula skincare. Right now, I'm still working on my um, Naturium skincare. I'm, I'm doing going to be doing a review at the end of the month. And so I'm still using that skincare right now. But after that, um, once I use it up, oh, it, it just has the faintest, faintest of, um, of uh, scents to it. Sort of like a powder scent or, a, you know, something like that. Mm, feels nice. Okay, very good. I'm always down for a nice moisturizer especially one that can be used day and night and Tula 
Tula Skincare is such a, an awesome brand anyway. Okay, and then we have this baby here. This says Gen Skin. Brightening Cuckadoo Plum Eye Patches. Okay. Okay, so. Brightening Cuckadoo Eye Patches. Generation Skin. Okay, let me open this up and we'll take a look. I actually have um, some under eye patches to get through. It's, it's so good on a day when you're not wearing makeup and you don't like, for me, days when the weather is bad and I'm not leaving the house. Um, I live in New England. We're in the middle of winter. We've had a couple of snowstorms. And so on those days, I'm not interested in leaving the house and dealing with the weather. So um, it's I usually do like a some eye masks or a face mask on days like that. If I can open the package, my goodness gracious. Wow, okay. Now I'm not gonna dig into these right away, so I'm not gonna break the seal. But I'll show you what the, the container looks like, and then we'll read about it. Okay, Jen's Generation Skin. Oh, it's hot pink. It's a hot pink container. Oh, look it. And it has a cute little spoon there, and it looks like the eye patches are purple. So that's good. I'm just a little curious if it has a fragrance to them. Hmm. It reminds me a little bit of just a hint of like Noxema in the days when we used to use Noxema. Um, it has that kind of a fragrance to it. All right. So what do we have here? So this says Generation Skin. Brightening Cockadoo Plum Eye Patches. These soothing eye patches are packed with Cockadoo Plum, one of nature's most abundant sources of skin brightening vitamin C. And the MSRP is $49. A lot of skincare. Okay, what do we have? Oh, more skincare. MZ Skin Soothe and Smooth Hyaluronic Brightening Eye Complex. Okay, MZ Skin. Okay, that's what the package looks like. Okay, late nights and early mornings can wreak havoc on your under eye area, which is why this brightening eye cream is a staple in Addison's busy schedule. It helps strengthen the skin and capillaries around the eyes to help prevent dark circles and puffiness. And Add Addison's tip, it's a can't beat base for under eye concealer. The hydrating ingredients prevent makeup from settling into creases and looking cakey. And the MSRP on this for an eye cream, $143. That is amazing, $143. That's why I like sub subscription boxes because you get to try these high-end expensive products and you don't have to pay the expensive price tag. I was wondering when I was going to get an item beauty product. Okay, this is on the daily eyeshadow palette. That's what it looks like. It's cardboard. It's a very sort of neutrally palette. Um, that's what it looks like. I'm not going to swatch it because I don't know what I'm going to keep. But it says here, created by Addison. She's a co-founder. The neutral shades in this clean makeup palette will be your go-tos for work, weekend, and everything in between. They're long wearing and easy to blend too. Addison's tip is to amp up the intensity of the shadows, dampen the bristles of your eyeshadow brush first. Okay. I mean, that's cool. It's a very neutral palette. So... I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it because I do have some neutral palettes already. 
so I'm not going to swatch it. Alrighty, and the MSRP on that is $24 for the eyeshadow palette. Okay, that's the first makeup product that we have. And then we have this. This is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Claire Brow Gel. I love this brow gel. Okay. I'm not going to open this one because uh, I already have one open. This one's a, a little mini size, but this is what it looks like. A few swipes of this clear, lightweight gel will tame and polish your bare brows and also lock into pig lock the, the pigments from your brow pen, pencil, or pomade. P.S. The long-lasting formula won't dry down or get flaky either. And Addison's tip is, comb this through your brows in the same direction your hairs grow for a natural look. And this just has a little, you know, um, a little spoolie there. So that's what that looks like. And this is an excellent um, brow, brow, clear brow gel in my opinion, and I'm happy to have that. And then lastly, we got something here from Pat McGrath. Pat McGrath Labs Lip Gloss in the shade Lust. Oh no, I'm sorry, Sunset Rose. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. I, that is stunning. And this is something that I'm keeping for sure. So I'll do, I will swatch this. That is beautiful. That is right up my alley. Look at that right there. Love that. So what does it say about this lip gloss? Uh, this isn't your average lip gloss. The lightweight, not at all sticky gel formula is infused with shimmery pigments for wet looking lips and a swipe. And Addison's tip, top off your favorite lip color with a coat of this gloss for a multi-dimensional lip look. And the MSRP is $28. Okay, so um, what do I think of this, bit, of this box? You know, I, I, I'm sort of surprised by the quality of the crossbody bag. Um... You know, the, the quality of it does not look the greatest. Um, and, you know, um, it's it's nice for, a, you know, if you're going on a hike or something and you want to cross, you know, put, wear a crossbody bag and just throw your wallet, your keys, and your phone, this would be fine. Um, I'm not thrilled with the quality. I'm very happy with the sunglasses. I'm happy with the lip gloss and the brow gel. Um, this, you know, it's nice. It's I like the cardboard packaging versus like a metal packaging or something. It's but the palette is so so. I would have liked to see something like some pinks and even some teals and blues and purples and maybe some uh, neutrals mixed in. More of a colorful palette is what I sort of expected from this. Um, it's a nice neutral palette, and I'm sure the quality is very good. I don't know if I'm going to keep it, so. I don't want to to swatch it, but that was everything in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Um, we received eight items. You know, and I had seen. Uh, I mean, I'm lucky. I got all eight products, and the three of that I chose: um, the bag, the sunglasses, and I chose the. I forget what else I chose. Um, I'm happy with those choices and with some of the things that they that they chose for me, but I, I I saw in a lot of videos that some were having items substituted for whatever reason. Um, like some people had ordered the sunglasses and didn't get them, and they got different a couple of different things instead. Um, but I was lucky enough to get everything that I was expecting, so. Um, you know, so I can't complain. It's, is it a bad box? No, no. And I am going to, I got a hair on my lip. And I am going to keep um, Ipsy for a little while. Um, but again, this wasn't my favorite box, but it really wasn't a bad box at all. So that is it for today's video. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please give me a thumbs up because I truly appreciate it. And it really does help my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're advised of all my future uploads. 
Um, please feel free to share this video. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of my base box from BoxyCharm and my Ipsy Glam Bag X this month. And I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.